in this video i explain injector condenser so injector condenser is a one type of jet condenser so first we learn these various components and then after the workings so this is the outer body of the condensers from the top part of the condenser cooling water is supplied through these nozzles and here series of nozzles are putted or these nozzles are also called as the various con okay so here it is mentioned cooling water nozzles between two two nozzles there is a some space is there it is called as the pods and here the diverging con is putted or a diverging nozzle is putted okay and the condensate and coolant is out from bottom parts of the condensers from here this is the non return valve is putted and the exhaust steam from the turbine is supplied here so these are the various components of a injector condenser injector condenser is a jet type condenser so basically that is a two types of condenser are there jet condenser and surface type condenser jet type means here the steam and the water is directly mixed and in this condenser mixing of cooling water and steam takes place in a series of combining cones con means this is the nozzles okay so this nozzle is also called as the con so there is a series of cones are there okay so there is a number of cones or a nozzles are there so in these nozzles there is a mixing of cooling water and steam is takes place and from here the condensate and coolant is supplied to the pump and through the pump it is supplied to the boiler the arrangement of injector condenser is shown in this figure in this condenser cooling water is forced through a series of con con means also nozzle and get mixed with a steam coming through pots okay so here this cooling water supply is passed from the various cons or a nozzles so here we know that in the nozzle the kinetic energy is increased and the pressure energy is reduced so when this pressure is reduced here so steam from this cell to it is supplied in this cons or a nozzles and the mixing of the steam and the cooling water is takes place as the cooling water flow through the series of nozzle it suffers more and more pressure drops and at the same time its velocity is gradually increased so when the cooling water is passed from the series of nozzle its pressure drop is continuous and the velocity is increased due to this pressure drop more and more steam is drawn through the pods and get intimately mixed with the cooling water jet and condense themselves okay so when the cooling water is passed from this nozzle the pressure is drop and when the pressure is drop the steam is drawn from this pot and when the steam is drawn through the pots the steam and the water is mixed and the steam is condensed a non return valve is provided on the steam inlet line to prevent the backflow of condensate in a case of failure of cooling water supply means here you see in a steam supply line non return valve is putted so non return valve means the steam is not supply back to the turbines okay so there is a some cases the cooling water circulation is stop due to the maintenance of pump or the pump is not working okay at that times the steam is not drawn in these nozzles and the condensation of the steam is not carried out at that time there is a possibility is that the steam is back into the turbines okay that's why here the non return valve is putted so thank you for watching this video if you learn something then like the video and subscribe my channels for watching the more video related to power plant engineering and other subject of this mechanical engineering for more video various link is provided in descriptions as well as in car for other subject i request to visit the playlist